Atlanta. Wow, my heart is still beating. Listen, after the Daytona finish, after the Darlington finish, and now this, I, I can't take these three races in a row. I think they're the greatest three stretch anywhere. What an incredible day, what atmosphere. But what did we see right off the bat? We saw how important every race in the playoffs are. We saw the five car of Kyle Larson seemingly running all by himself. Everything's good. That thing steps out. Boom, he's in the wall. He loses 20 points. Martin Truex, no place to go. Boom, Martin loses 18 points to where he was when the day started. And then we have Denny Hamlin, where I don't know what happened to Denny yesterday. I don't know if he spotted him a race. I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't like it, Chris. Yeah, I think they're going to wreck. Yeah, pit four, I want what you want, but they're going to wreck for another 150 laps or so, I guess. So, I got it. And I can't get into that because I don't know the strategy, but their strategy did not work yesterday. Let me say that. And they lose eight points. These guys have worked themselves into a hole. And for me, these were three of the guys that I had possibly going to the final four. Definitely the final eight. So, terrible day for these guys. This is a point system that it's easy to lose, hard to gain these points back. Three race stretch, you have the bad first race, you're playing catch up the next two. Now, I'm gonna go to the other side. Great day for Joey Logano, for Daniel Suarez, Alex Bowman, and Austin Sendry. Those four guys did something yesterday. They stepped up, they went to a different level. So as I look at it, bad, bad day for three of our biggest stars, but a great day for three or four of our rising stars.